I'll just warm it up right around here a little bit. Um, I'm actually sure where we're going today. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll go. I've never gone that way than like farther than like the town hall or that uh, garbage place. I haven't never even gone this way really. But I'm pretty much going to kind of continue, just finish breaking it in. I'm not going to go hard on it too much. I'm just going to kind of continue to break it in, I guess. But at the same time, I don't, I'm just going to kind of ride it. Because, you know, this is also SSR Adventures. Yeah, I'm going to put this on SSR Adventures episode 9 or 10, I think. But also, if uh, you're confused about that, dualies. Anyways, also... I have it called SR 125 Adventures. Well, this isn't SR 125 anymore, it's SR 140. So, I honestly am not even sure I'm gonna change the title or how I'm gonna do that yet. Oh, the clutch is slipping. Yeah, the clutch is slipping. I need to adjust it. Anyways, uh, I'm probably just gonna have it. Like the playlist, SR 125 slash 140 Ventures, then just name this. I'm not gonna name it like number one. I'm just have a 140 Ventures and then part and like SR 140 Adventures part nine or whatever. I'm just gonna just go straight from 125 to 140. Because, you know, YOLO. But the clutch is even worse. So I guess I adjust it the wrong way, maybe. Hopefully that's good. Second gear. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go this way just a little bit and then I'll turn around, but clutch feels good. And the rear brake, there's something uh, it's kind of messed up. But actually, it, it kind of works. Uh, actually, even uh, it works alright actually. But I need to get that fixed. I think it. I don't know. I need something, but whatever. Sorry. Let's go a little bit this way. Uh. Just cruising. Yeah, there's sometimes uh, cops like wait for people around in this road because this road is a good road to go fast on. <laughs> uh, you know, straight and up and down, but I guess I don't, there shouldn't be any cops. Probably. Oh crap. Oh man. I want to get my phone out and see the speed. Speedometer app. That'd take a while to get in my car, which is in the barn. I'm going to ride by this uh, truck up here. Then I'll turn around. Oh no, uh, that sunset. Oh man, that sunset's nice. Alright. I'll turn around right in here. I actually just saw dude right in the road. My friend used to live here, then he moved.
That's not gonna win a car like go over the hill and be like, oh crap, there's a kid riding a dirt bike. I'm gonna hate him. I thought I saw somebody in there and I was like, wait, there's nobody even in there. I just waved at nobody, I think. Whatever, if there was somebody, then they saw me. It's pretty warm too, it's like, it was 60 earlier today, but it's like 6 o'clock now, so it's like, I don't know. I think it went down to like 50 something, but it's still, it's nice. So I stay in these yellow lines? Oh yeah. When you like give it a little bit of gas, it's like whoop, pulls it back and then you let off. When you let off, it kind of goes like whoop, uh, and slows down kind of fast. It's hard to just kind of like cruise without giving a throttle to let off. It went, whoa. Anyways. I want to like rev it out and forth and go like you know higher RPMs for a long time just because it's still being broken in quite a bit. I mean, there's still nobody. A lot of people don't even go on this road. Not a lot, but uh, you know, a decent amount of cars. But there's like nobody coming. That's good, I guess. But I don't know. Surprising. That's neutral. Yes, it is. All right, I knew that. Pothole. Please stop. I'm good. Don't stall it. Oh, it's a truck. Nice people. Uh, failing at wheelies. Oh, yeah. ah, my ankle. That mark was from nothing. That mark right there was from nothing either. And those marks right there, they were from nothing. And uh, don't look at those marks. I didn't do them. Did you hear that? Yeah. I want to go in the field. Oh man, I probably could. It's there's not very much snow. Oh, there's a car. Oh, the pops are nice. All right, let's see if I can turn somewhere around here to let him pass. I'll pull over, I guess, for him. Unless there's something up here. I think there is a little turning area up here. They're right here. Nope, it's not plowed. All right. Spinning that rear tire. Oh, there's another car. Right, I'll just kind of cruise on the side of the road. Don't worry, I have a, uh, whatever it's called, ORV ticket license, whatever it's called thing. Don't pull me over, anybody. Don't think I'm like a five-year-old. I plug my feet out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Is that another car? Oh my god, it is. I'll get over this hill really quick. Uh, 
uh, you know, I'm heading in here. Last night, a lot of that snow melted. It's just right here. Or the ice. Icy snow. There should... Oh, God, that is ice. Oh, my God. There we go. I'm, I'm just going to see what's in here. Hopefully nobody's here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I really... This is kind of sketchy, guys. Oh, God. Yep. Wait. Oh, my... That is complete... Complete ice. Look at that. Slushy ice. That's funny. Turning the throttle, turning what? I don't know. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding. Hello. Oh god. What? Oh god. Where is it? There we go, okay. Now, back it up. <sighs> Finally. Wait, it's not even that loose. Oh, it must have been loose because it's off that end that. But why did it come off then? Uh, I'll probably tighten up a little bit more. Maybe this thing is kind of wobbly. I don't know. Uh, It does, I don't know, it looks kind of alright to me. <laughs> oh my god, I'll figure it out. But hopefully this thing doesn't come off again. On the way home at least. So I'll figure it out once I get home. But let's get out of here. And uh, this will be probably like one of the most boring episodes yet of 125 slash 140 adventures, but that's alright. Yeah, the chain isn't even loose. It has about one inch of movement, which is what's supposed to happen. But it's supposed to have. So I'm not really sure why, you know, it did that. But. Alright. Anyways. Let's go home. Something's up. It might just fall enough like it does. You know, because it falls off. So right now it looks fine. So I don't know. Yeah, it seems fine. Whatever. River. All right.
I have no idea. Oh man, alright. Well, oh, man, I'm kinda cold, a little bit cold. Yup, I know a possibility, or what it, some of it is at least. And my, I think that's what knocked the chain off. I'll show you guys in a second. You ready for this? I'm glad the bull didn't fall out. This cover, uh, I only had one bolt for it. It's the only 71, I guess. And it's loosened up, so it's all shaking. So I think I might have swung up or swung down or something and hit the chain and knocked it off. Cause I think, I don't know, tell me if that's too loose, but that, that's about right. I probably should tighten up a little bit more. I guess I guarantee I should just a little bit, but that's not insanely loose, I don't think. Oh no, anyways. Alright, I'll fix it, I'll get it all, all good, and then, uh, yeah. It'll be good. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you in another video. Subscribe for more. These, for some videos of that. All that stuff. Subscribe. Like the video, whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching. I gotta wear up this kill switch too. I just put these two wires together, that's my kill switch right now. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye.